right, you guys, we are back again for another video about Fallon and Portia and Simon and Jalen because this is the story that just doesn't end, okay? The never-ending story. So you guys know that Fallon is on a press tour because uh, she doesn't have a job, she doesn't have a career, she doesn't have money, she has bad credit. Those are her words, not mine, so don't get mad at me. But um, yeah, she's on this press tour, I guess, to just tell her side of the story since Simon did, you know, kind of control the narrative on Instagram for a little bit and she's taking that back. So she did the whole interview with Claudia Jordan and Flop Soul. And then last night she did a two hour, very boring and very dry and too damn long interview with Miss Tisa Tells of YouTube. Well, y'all, she had a lot to say, including the fact that towards the end of their marriage, Simon just got fed up with the shit. And so Fallon says that Simon fled to Miami for two months and barely checked on his kids, right? So y'all know that Simon being the very petty second coming to Patricia Thomas um, is going to respond to any negative claims about him. And this time he's doing it a little bit different, okay? He's not being extra shady about the situation. But this morning, Simon decided to just post all of his kids all over his Instagram. And his captions uh, were basically like, I love my family, I love my kids, I love spending time with them, etc., etc. This, that, and the third. And I was like, you ain't ever post your kids this much, okay? You ain't never talk this much about family. So to me, it's just damage control, right? That's his way of responding to Fallon's claims of, you know, I guess him being like this bad parent. Now, Fallon never said explicitly that the man was a bad parent. But Tisa Tells was the one that was trying to perpetuate this narrative as if he didn't really care about his kids. Well, now Simon is posting his kids, letting y'all know that he is a family man. With that also being said, um, remember when Fallon told Claudia Jordan and Vivica A. Fox and Selena Johnson and the other woman, okay, Lisa Ray, that Simon told her that Portia fucked his cousin for a Rolls Royce? Well, one of the fans went under Simon's Instagram post and asked him, did your cousin really buy Portia a Rolls Royce? And Simon responded with, show me how smart you are by doing your own research, which basically tells me that he's not denying it, which tells me that it's true, okay? Now, do I believe that Portia was fucking for a car? I don't know and I don't really care. I mean, you do you, boo. Doesn't make a difference to me. However, do I believe that Simon was talking shit about Portia before he got with Portia? Absolutely, okay? I think he was talking about Portia like a dog and I hope Portia is listening to all of this chatter because I don't want her to end up like Fallon. I don't want her to revert back to season five Portia when she got a divorce from Cordell, right? And so Portia needs to pay attention because we all know that Simon is a dirty dog. He needs to be put on a leash. He needs a muzzle um, because I don't think his intentions are necessarily the best. And I do think he was talking shit. And so I hope Portia is listening. I hope she's paying attention. I hope she's taking notes. I hope she's prepared to jump ship when it's time to jump ship, okay? Because if he's doing this to Fallon, leaving her high and dry with no damn credit and no job and no money, he gonna do you the same, okay? So I don't know. You guys let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Now, before we log out, I just wanted to very quickly give you guys an update on Latoya Howard and her little relationship to Von Ray. Now, yes, us over here at the house of Aaron did break the news that Latoya and Von were together. I'm going to go ahead and take credit for that. And, um, you know, Latoya and Von did a whole vlog about their relationship and mentioned the house of Aaron in it, okay? And they were saying a lot of great things like, you know, I was honest and I was truthful and all of that stuff. And so I really did appreciate that. And I'm not going to lie, at the beginning of, you know, Latoya's stay on Housewives, I was here for her. Then I started watching the show and then she became really annoying. And so I started throwing a lot of shade at her. And then once she, uh, you know, shouted me out on her YouTube channel, I was like, okay, I secretly kind of like her again. Um, however, okay, 
In that same damn blog, they trashed Jason Lee and Hollywood Unlocked, right? And then subsequently, LaToya had agreed to do an interview with us, right? That would have been our first interview ever because y'all know me, I don't do interviews. Um, I'm not really thirsty to do any interviews, but I mean, I would be lying to say that an interview with a current star of the Housewives would not have been pretty cool. To make a long story short, child, okay? Uh, we ended up not doing the interview and I was shocked that about a week ago, Von Ray, who trashed Jason Lee and Hollywood Unlocked for putting out false stories about them, did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. So yes, I'm feeling some sort of way, okay? I'm feeling some sort of way because you skipped out on the interview with me to do an interview with Hollywood Unlocked, who you couldn't stand just about two months ago. I don't get it, okay? I just do not get it. But anyways, Vaughn went to Hollywood Unlocked and Jason Lee. Um, he basically spilled the tea about him and uh, LaToya's relationship and how it ended. Apparently, LaToya was cheating on him. She was talking to other guys through, you know, text messages and DMs and things of that nature. And apparently, there was some sort of situation at a party where Vaughn was there and LaToya's ex, Adam, was also there. And according to Vaughn, Adam sent over one of his homeboys to go talk to Vaughn. Vaughn was not really feeling the situation. And so um, after a while, he pulled out his gun, shot into the air, created some sort of ruckus, okay? And this is why Atlanta is the way Atlanta is because people like Vaughn Ray want to shoot when things are not going their way, okay? Um, and he got arrested, okay? And then I'm assuming soon after that, him and LaToya broke up, so... So yeah, that's the ending to their love story. So let me know how y'all feel about everything we talked about today. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll go ahead and see you guys a little bit later. Love you, and don't forget to create a great day.